Launchpad videos have been growing in popularity over the last six years or so, and although they can be quite satisfying to watch, they've never had a proper explanation as to what actually happens in these videos. So in this video, I'll be explaining the important stuff, as well as how Launchpad performances actually work. The Launchpad as an instrument is actually quite closely related to a piano, but rather than having keys, you have buttons. Each of these buttons have audio files loaded on, so when you interact with the launchpad, a sound will come out. Quite like any other instrument, really. The possibilities of different audio files on these buttons are limitless. For example, one button could trigger a drum sample, and a different button could trigger a synth sound. And then playing these two different audio samples together will combine the sounds and fill the song. The launchpad also has what are called pages. Each page is a layer of up to 64 unique sounds that have been placed onto the launchpad to form this performance, and changing pages using the side buttons loads in the next layer of 64 sounds, as well as new light effects to go with them. The launchpad gets its audio by being plugged into a PC or a smartphone using software such as Ableton Live. This software is what powers the performance and allows any sound to be placed on the launchpad. Sometimes, a single button might also have two or more samples layered on it. When pressed, that button will cycle through all of the sounds that are loaded onto that one button. This is called multi-sampling. I also get asked a lot of the time whether it actually matters what buttons I'm pressing. Of course it does, it's like any other musical instrument, you can mess up. Just like this. <laughs> Launchpad light effects are put together using tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of what are called MIDI notes. Each one of these notes will trigger one button for one colour for a certain amount of time. Hundreds of these MIDI notes put together will result in one light effect that will be used exclusively for one project. The light effects are then cut up into hundreds of individual files which are then placed onto the buttons just like the audio samples. The light effects are added to Launchpad projects as a visual aid to help you understand and have a more visual representation of the sound, as well as setting the Launchpad apart as its own instrument. So there you are, the very basics of how a Launchpad actually works. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.